Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create a, an interactive form that can be filled in by colleagues or whoever you send this PowerPoint presentation to, to either give feedback on a product as this example is going to be, or feedback on training um, if you're a training provider. So first of all, I've just got a simple slideshow here, presentation, product design, a few points, and then you would have the whole presentation laid out in this format. And then the last slide, you might want to create a form for people to fill in to give feedback while they're watching the presentation. So actually live in their full screen PowerPoint presentation. Now to do that, you need to insert and uh, forms. So this is part of Microsoft Office 365. So if you don't have Office 365, you might not get this, but you can sign up for it and then it will be available. So I've clicked on that and it's showing me now the forms pane and it's showing all my forms that I've already created, but I want to create a new one. So I'm just going to create a new form and then that should take me to my Office 365 area. So I'll call this feedback. And then you, you've got a description bar there, but I'm just going to add a, a question. So you've got several options here, a choice. I'll just do a, a couple of each um, items and you can see how it works. So the question is, does the pres presentation work? So you're asking that question and then two options. Um, well, I've got yes and no there, so I could put it there. I'll just put yes and no. Because that's a, the reason it's there is because they're already standard. You can put maybe there as well if you want. So that's the first question. Next question. So I'll just do a a rating. Rate this presentation. And then you've got five stars rating there. You've got options there to change that to a number and how many levels you want if you didn't want five levels. So that's that one. Um, you've got an option there to click on required if you absolutely want people to fill that in. Sometimes that can be a bit irritating for people. And then you add a new. So now I've got um, a text question. Um, in fact, I don't want a text question. So there you've got a delete option. I want a date question. So the date that I watched. When did you watch this presentation and then you've got the date option there and I will put required for that one add new and then further along you've got a little drop down arrow where you can put something in like this where you've got multiple choices so gauge attitudes and things like that so I'm going to put that in just to show you and I don't want five options I just want three options so you click into each one of these and delete and then um, you put your question in there um light i'm just making these up didn't like uh don't know and obviously you put whatever want you want in there and then the statements is what they are responding to so i'll put content content and style we're looking at that content and style and then if i click on add new you've got uh, we've done the rating we've just got a text one we've done choice um, we've done most of these now so that, that that's all i want to do and if you want to move any of these around you can move them up and down like you've seen i've already deleted some and you can copy them there and you can also create um different themes different styles of of this form it's up there you've got themes I'm not going to pick any of those because it's going to clash with potentially your PowerPoint theme. So I'll leave the theme as default. Now, when you click on share, so at the moment, only people in my organization can respond to this. So two things you can do here. You can copy that link and send it to people, but you need to put this to anyone can respond. Anyone can respond. And then you've got the option there to embed it. If you want, send it via email and whatever you want to do. But that is the form set up. So now we can go back to PowerPoint. And um, just delete that one off. And get a new slide. 
and there's the form I'm going to insert that and there the form comes in and it's got the asterisks where it's required and there you can see the form there's the asterisk for the required for that one so what does it look like in full screen you click on it in full screen and you can tick the options that you want to put on the form and this will fill in your form on Office 365 I liked both of those when you click submit it would be submitted so if I just escape this for a minute and go back to my form you've got one response and there it is filled in and it's as simple as that but I think having used PowerPoint for years that this is a great little tool when you're sharing a PowerPoint presentation across an organization and you want from some feedback or if like this example a product idea maybe most people have got Office 365 use teams that have got Office 365 use teams so they could share this PowerPoint and get feedback from the team but that's all I want to talk about for now so that's it and I'll see you on the next one thank you for your time